Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. Tomorrow, me, my wife, the ghost, and my mom are going to see, finally, The Batman. I cannot wait to see this film. Now, I would have went to a fan screening last night as I'm recording and uploading this video, but the closest one was like a stayed away. It was just too much. And trust me, I really wanted to, but there was just nothing that close to me for me to go see it. I cannot wait. I pulled up some um, reactions, reviews, kind of like people just talking about the film in terms of outlets and stuff that the Batman just posted on Twitter about 30 minutes ago or so. I just wanted to do this quick video. I cannot wait to see this film and hearing everybody talking about it in terms of what they loved and everything. I just can't wait to experience it myself. I'm going to see it, but I'm going to experience it. I think I said, I think I said experience. I can't fucking talk today. It's been a crazy hectic day over here. So anyways... So I wanted to look through these, what uh, the Batman Twitter uh, officially posted. They're calling it thrilling, romantic, and the best Batman film since The Dark Knight. That is a tall order. To a lot of people, The Dark Knight is the best Batman film for a number of reasons. One being, of course, Heath Ledger as Joker, that, that performance. But, okay, romantic. I like hearing the uh, Romantic obviously refers to Selena Kyle. So let's click on through here to the other ones. One of the best superhero movies ever made. I've heard this a number of times for different people. I'm also hearing from different people saying it's the best Batman film ever, uh, but hearing one of the best superhero movies ever made, interesting. Tall Order once again. You've never seen The Dark Knight like this before. Another Tall Order. Another Tall Order. <laughs> but I'm curious to see the different approach they do. Obviously, there's going to be some similarities because there's been a lot of different uh, iterations, a lot of different versions of Bruce Wayne slash Batman in different mediums, of course, mostly all in comics, but in TV, live action, animation, whatever. So in films, of course. So there's a lot of variety there. So we'll see. The last one here is not just a good Batman movie, but one of the best comic book movies ever. So once again, not just a good Batman movie, but one of the best comic book movies ever. It's crazy because at one point, um, a lot of people, because the, 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 there was a divide. Okay, let's just be honest here. There was a divide of people in terms of Robert Pattinson being cast as Batman, Bruce Wayne. And a lot of people were actually against it, saying the guy from Twilight, because a lot of people have not seen his other performances outside of that saga, because it wasn't a trilogy. It was more than three films, right? Anyways, doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. But a lot of people have not seen because he was taking on, uh, you know, smaller films that weren't getting big releases and everything. That He was just doing a lot of variety of stuff, but he was killing it. And now everybody's talking about how great he is and they can't believe that this, that th this film exists in general and the fact that, you know, he freaking destroyed it. So I can't wait. I cannot wait. Um, it's crazy how the tides have turned, you know. There are still a number of people out there that won't see this film because it's not Ben Affleck's Batman because this originally was going to be a Ben Affleck Batman solo film. And then, of course, director changed Ben Affleck stepped down. Then Matt Reeves came in and then there was a whole shift. And I think the timeline basically was that Ben Affleck was going to direct and, of course, and act and everything like that. And then he stepped down just to act. And then they went – Then I guess the timeline at one point they were going to have Ben Affleck as Batman. They were going to have a young Batman as the main point. But they were going to still connect it to Ben Affleck's Batman. And then that got changed again. I'm not really sure. If, I'm trying to remember. Was that ever part of the timeline in terms of what went to the changes of this film? I'm not sure. But regardless, what we have now, of course, is not connected to anything in terms of the um, DCEU or the Snyderverse. Whatever. This is separate completely. I mean, it's, it's, it's no connection. But they're building this world. Apparently, this film does a lot of world building and course we have a penguin spinoff we have a gcpd we heard a lot about a catwoman spinoff series on hbo max but we know we know the penguin series is you know being worked on we know there's a gcpd show of course those both connected to this film and there's other stuff as well probably going to pop up from this and then of course more films in terms of a sequel making it to a trilogy potentially of course we, we've heard that matt reeves signed on for a trilogy but also we've been hearing that uh, potentially there might be films set in this world outside of the Batman. That's been kind of rumored a little bit. So we'll see. But in terms of the Batman, I can't wait to see this movie. I cannot wait to see what they pull off. Is it going to blow my mind? I hope it blows my mind. I really hope it does. But all on, all I know is I'm going to go in and just see what happens. Okay, I have a certain level of expectation. I do. 
but I'm ready to see it. I'm ready to witness it. So, of course, I'll let you guys know. As soon as I get out of the theater, I'm going to record a uh, review right out of the theater. Get my wife's thoughts, my mom's thoughts, but mostly me, my thoughts, mostly me. But I want to get their thoughts as well since they're saying it with me. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow, so about 24, 24 hours from now, I'll be uh, doing something on the channel um, in terms of uh, interview. But, uh, yeah, and then a couple hours after that, so basically 27-ish hours from now in terms of when I'm recording this, I'll be seeing the Batman. I'll be sitting down, uh, sitting down and witnessing it, experiencing it. So, yeah. So, that's the video. Can't wait to see the film tomorrow. Of course, I'll get my route of the theater reaction. I'll get that uploaded as soon as possible when I get done watching the film. And, yeah. So, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.